Hi, I'm Steve Williams and this is Scooter in the Sticks. I bought this uh, Vespa GTS in January of 2007. It brought me a lot of smiles then and I'm still smiling now. But after 44,000 miles of riding, commuting, and some rough and abusive use off-road, I've begun to wonder, when is it going to be time to replace the scooter? There are a variety of reasons you might start thinking it's time to replace your scooter or motorcycle. High mileage, more frequent repairs, things like that, or being left stranded along the road. I've been stranded alongside the road four times with a dead scooter. Uh, those experiences have a way of surfacing whenever you start thinking about how old the scooter is. But I guess you have to really ask, is there really a problem? So let's think about it a moment. Of the four times I've been stranded, two were entirely my fault. The uh, stuff that was my fault, I ran out of gas. The other time, I didn't realize I had hit the kill switch. Uh, another time, the spark plug wire came loose. And if I was a little more experienced, I would have known how to fix that along the road and not uh, need a rollback to come and haul the scooter home. The one serious uh, breakdown I had was a burn through of the fused link and uh, there was no fixing that along the road. But considering how many miles I have on the scooter and all that I've done, that's not too bad. So why am I thinking that I might need a new scooter? Is it really unreliable? Um, but when you whip all that stuff together, it's easy to see how a person might feel the machine is no longer reliable. And depending on your mechanical ability and understanding of the workings of the scooter, it may become even more frightening. The new Vespa GTS is expensive. In Pennsylvania, with tax, freight, and fees, you're looking at over $9,000 out the door. So how do you justify spending thousands and thousands of dollars for a new scooter versus hundreds or a couple thousand in repairs? Well, for me, it could be as simple as saying, I just want a new scooter. There's a long list of denial, delusion, and rationalizations, and I've been wrestling with most of them. But to really make an informed decision, I really need to look closely at my scooter. So we should take a close look at the scooter to decide really what kind of condition it's in. Um, it gets pretty emotional uh, when you have something that you've ridden for a long time and have a lot of good memories. But as I look at this, uh, at the things that are actually wrong, I know right now that I have to uh, replace the front brake caliper here. It is uh, sticking and you really can't uh, clean it up, so I'm going to replace that shocks have been replaced already. Um, the scooter's been through a lot of rough use and it's got some scratches and mars and marks. Um, I had the underside repainted, uh, missing the reflector on the side here. But all that stuff's cosmetic. Um, I know the transmission cover here is starting to uh, flake off and get ratty, but for a couple hundred bucks I can get a new one of those and it'll look like new. 
Um, the uh, gas gauge doesn't start working until it's uh, half a tank or below. It's accurate at that point, but uh, and the check engine light comes on periodically. I suspect I need a new oxygen sensor, but that light has been on and off for over 10 years, so I'm not really worried about it. So, and I've, I've maintained it. I've changed oil and the belt and things like that. Uh, the muffler can get kind of ratty because of the winter riding. Um, in the springtime, if it's really bad, I'll take it off, brush it up, and spray it with some black high temperature paint. But other than that, uh, the scooter's in pretty, pretty good shape. And so, you know, whenever I think, gee, it's getting old, um, I really have to uh, wonder, is there any wisdom at all in replacing it when a replacement is gonna cost probably over $9,000 if I buy a new one. I made a lot of memories with this scooter. And even though I've never given it a name, there is a personal connection between me and my Vespa. And it would almost feel like a betrayal to just sell it or junk it. I get sad even thinking about it. There's so many images that float through my head. And I think it's, it's that emotional connection the memories, the nostalgia that really make thinking about a new scooter difficult for me. I'd like to say I know for sure what to do. The decision to repair an aging scooter or buy a new one isn't simple and it will be different for each rider. I know I'd never borrow money to replace my Vespa. If I can pay cash for it, then I'll consider it. I know it will be far less expensive to repair my current scooter over buying a new one. And I know concerns about reliability will likely persist even after I make needed repairs. But it remains difficult for me to justify the cost of a new Vespa, even though I have the cash to buy one. I don't have a crystal ball, so it's difficult to say what will happen. Perhaps you can illuminate the question in the comments. I'm always open to hearing from people about what they might do and how they handle things. Anyway, that wraps up another episode of Scooter in the Sticks. Until next time, be well and ride safe.